Yo, just woke up, iced my jaw for a little bit. Swellings, still fucking swell as fuck. I don't got no pain medicine right now. I just called Walgreens to check on my uh the status of my prescriptions that I got getting filled right now. And um they said it is ready, but my insurance haven't covered the cost of them. This is what I got right now. Some antibiotics. And I got this old bottle of Uh, ibuprofens. This is 500 milligram ibuprofens. So I probably eat like three of these right now just to help with my pain and eat an antibiotic. To prevent from infection because it's just digging in my gums and um. Can't brush my teeth. Can't brush the inside of my mouth the way that I, I like to clean my shit. Uh, it's how I gotta do it. Slide them in. Ibuprofen and these pills are fucking huge. So I gotta break these in half to fuck these in. You see that they're like double the size of the ibuprofen. It shit fucking hurts, yo. Fuck this shit. Shit is fucking. It's not easy, dog. Shit is fucking work. Gotta bounce back, though. Went to go see a uh, pain management doctor yesterday. And, uh. When I went to his office, I just thought that I could just show up and they would be like, yo, all right, yeah, we're gonna give you some drugs and shit. Hell no. Nah. This motherfucker said, 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 call to make an appointment. I didn't call, so when I went down there, they pretty much just turned me away. They told me that this doctor's not accepting no new patients and they gave me this phone number which is to like a different type of pain management or people that could prescribe me some medicine for pain. And um, excuse me, I called them and I'm asking them, can I get like, come down there for an appointment to get set up so I can get some fucking medicine and shit. And these motherfuckers said they can't even help me with the pain cause it's like a uh, face pain. And this is like a back place and uh, orthopedic or something like that, so I'm just like, damn, like, what the fuck, so, I just went ahead and called, uh, Dr. Peterson, the guy who gave me my actual surgery, because I'm like, you know, if he's gonna understand, you just operated on me, so, uh, I'm supposed to follow up with him anyway, you know, I've seen that I have to call, when I go home, I've seen that I'm supposed to call him too, so, I just called him yesterday and I told him that I ran out of pain medicine yesterday. 
I'm trying to go back to work and uh, they let me come in for my follow up yesterday and they wrote me a prescription. But uh, I dropped the prescription off and they're saying that my insurance hasn't paid for it yet. So I'm going to wait a couple more minutes. If I got to come out of pocket and pay cash for this medicine, that's what I'm going to have to do. I had to do that already this year. I had uh, scabies earlier this year. And uh, for this one little tube of cream that I got, it's like $250. One time application for this motherfucking medicine, huh? This shit right here, 250. That shit crazy. Only use it one time, that's why I still got that shit in a fucking container. If I get that shit again, you know what the fuck going on. Yeah, man, I'm supposed to work again today, so. How are you going? I've been up for maybe an hour, hour and a half. Just in here chilling out, man. So I just came up here to Walgreens, man. Picking up my prescription. Ran into one of my homies. You know what I'm saying? We out here. We in the hood right now. You know what I'm doing too, man. Shout out to Kobe, man. I was just gonna have you confirm on there for me. Thank you. Shout out to insurance. This with the Walgreens picked up my new prescription. Got some pain medicine. This is my antibiotics. About to make some fucking food and kill before I gotta take my ass to work. What up, man? Blaze, you see, I'm back up in this bitch. Just about to talk more about uh, the update. It's just an update video from uh, last week. Um, I done went back to work since I got out the hospital. Um, it's been exactly a week, so it's Thursday the 18th right now. Uh, shit. Whatever, it's the 18th right now and shit, man. It's super nice outside, so I'm probably about to go skate right after I make this video, so I just. I got this new board I'm about to set up. It's a Tri-Star Creature collab. Got this from my homeboy Dante. He work at Zoomies and he a uh, producer. So I'm definitely about to give a hand on his music shit. But yeah man, it's been like a week. I just been taking my ass to work, coming home. Went uh, to my mom's, went to go visit my mom finally over the weekend. Um, she gave me some food and she had a food processor at her house. Like I said, I'm on a straight liquid diet, so I got this food. And um, I'm super happy that she uh, is so generous with, with everything that she do for me. I got the best mom in the world, I'm convinced. Even though she... Uh, She's, she's tough, she's a tough mom, and she want me to listen. I'm, I'm hard-headed, but you know, it's a, uh, I'm getting better, and I just wanna just be better for her, for her and listen to her. Cause I know she got so much wisdom, and just so much knowledge, she know, she ultimately know what's best for me, so. Yeah, I'm just so grateful to just still have her here. 
we gotta make another video because she actually just had a kidney transplant so i just been going through a lot lately man but as y'all can see i'm not uh <laughs> in this video right now i was like literally my mouth was so swollen last week when i first got out the hospital i could barely even close my mouth like <laughs> my mouth was so swollen i couldn't even close my mouth and i don't know if like uh, there was like damage to my like salivary glands, but like there was like too much saliva. I had way too much spit in my mouth, and I was literally drooling the entire time that I was like fucking like making that last video. I've been like just like moving around and stuff, and like I, sometimes I just like catch myself just like drooling, and I'm like, man, like this is just terrible. I can't believe I'm literally in this position right now, but. Um, the soiliness went down a lot, um, it's still really numb, my face still, like, I can't feel this area still, I don't know what kind of, what, what they did during that surgery, but it's just numb, and, um, yeah, I'm, uh, just back to work, my first day going back to work, I tried to thug it out the whole shift, but I couldn't, uh, I wasn't uh, able to literally stay in there and work that entire shift. I don't know if it's because I hadn't been on my feet for uh, feet for like longer than like three or four hours, or if it was just the fact that I haven't been eating the way that I'm supposed to eat, or if it was them. Um, I didn't have no pain medicine that day, or I don't know what caused it, but I got a hard job, I'm a cook, and it was just real, I could not stand up in there. And um, I ended up leaving like, in pretty much less than like two hours, my first day back to work. Um, yeah, I'm a, uh, yeah, so I've been skating a little bit, like whenever like, I'm like waiting for the bus to go to work, I like do a couple tricks and stuff. and. My skating hasn't been affected at all. I can honestly say that. That's one thing that I'm really happy about, but. Um, yeah, man, just my face, my appearance, you know, certain, uh, my attention from females has definitely went down because, uh, you know, it's just, like I said, like I've always just like prided myself on like my looks and stuff, and this happening to me has been like extremely eye opening and just showed me like how like people will, if you're not like a, as attractive as you always was at one time, certain people just will not really fuck with you and shit. So I'm just like, I'm just like learning. I'm taking every day. I'm like appreciating all of this time right now that I'm just like out of that hospital. I don't gotta be sitting up with an IV in my arm and you know, yeah man. Uh, it's been, it's been pretty interesting. I'm, um, I don't know. It's just, I'm just happy to be here. And, you know, things are, time is just going forward, man. And like I said, I just want to leave that in the past. I can't wait to get the rest of the stuff on my mouth. I'm still on this diet. I haven't been eating no good food or not, really. Well, the food that my mom gave me tastes amazing. Ain't nothing like home-cooked meals and made by your mom but uh yeah i just cannot wait to like actually get to chew and eat the food that like i know that I, i'm craving i just been craving a lot of food lately and i just miss the texture and yeah but um i really don't really got really too much to say man it's just you know i'm happy that i'm healing as fast as i am I feel like that is also in part to just how physically active I am. Always, like, I really don't let anything stop me from, like, moving any time. All of this talk, I'm talking fast as hell. But just, like, always moving and just staying active, I feel like that also helped me. Oh, yeah, over this, it's Thursday, like, this past weekend, they had a, a event downtown Akron. I uh, went down there. The homies at Whisker 10 had like a little event. I made the whole video about that. They one year anniversary in a 720 market. I never uh, heard of them before, but they based out of Canton, Ohio. And 
it was an amazing market. I've seen a lot of people that I know from like the community and um, I actually got to introduce myself to all those people firsthand and check out all of the businesses and the services they provide. <laughs> Excuse me. It was a real good time though. I'm just happy to exchange energy with all of these good people and uh, just keep on promoting myself even though I'm going through a tough time right now or uh, an unfortunate situation. I'm just making the most out of it and trying to be as positive as I possibly can constantly. Just moving forward and um, you know, not dwelling on the uh, pain that I'm dealing with or uh, you know, anything negative about the situation at all. So, uh, since this happened to me, my dad uh, has helped me uh, get like a blender. So now I got like a blender at my house. My mom got a food processor. So I go over there and she cooking some stuff up that I wouldn't be able to eat right now because I still cannot chew because my mouth has these rubber bands in it. I can uh, blend some food up over there and bring it home. Like, I did with the last food that I got. Um, she made some collard greens and some uh, some ribs and stuff. And yeah, it's just, I just feel real happy right now, man. I can't, I really don't got nothing to complain about. I don't know if it's because I've been sober. Um, it's been like almost two weeks now since I smoked some weed. So I'm feeling like a lot more uh, high energy. And um, I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know what it is for real, but I just feel real good, man, just to be able to get this stuff out. Um, honestly, like sometimes like I do feel like a little bit short of breath, and I don't know if that was because like I was like in the hospital for so long, or like the Percocets that I be taking, or what, but I be feeling like short of breath when I be like just moving kind of fast, and I don't, I never have been like a person who's like been like whew, winded from just like a, any type of physical activity. I've always, I mean like I've always been like just a person who goes hard, and I, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I like to. I like intensity in my life, so like if it's not, you know what I'm saying, I really try to skate fast when I skate. I like to, um, you know, just do things like I'm constantly multitasking and just really work, uh, using my attention to the uh, its maximum capacity, you know. So yeah, man, it's a uh, that feels it feels different that um. I've been kind of short on breath the way that I've been being short on breath. But, um, it's like, I've been hearing about things that's been happening in our community. Aside from the incident that happened with me, um, somebody like got stabbed in the neck with a beer bottle out at the bar. So like, I just know that it's about to be a crazy summer. And I'm like, I'm not gonna have time to be out like going to the bar. I'm trying to get me a second job and just focus more time into like, like I said, furnishing this apartment, I need to get some furniture up in here and, uh, you know, just better myself because it wouldn't have happened like if I would have just brought my ass home after I got off work. Like I said, I went straight to the bar after I got off. I went straight to the bar after I got off work. I ain't, you know, I bring, I use, I get an employee meal because I'm a cook. And, you know, I still had all the, my food that I had made with me. My, you know what I'm saying? My uniform was on and, you know, I just, pretty much was, you know, I was in just like a wrong place at the wrong time and just doing too much at that time. Like just, I gotta just do better for myself. And if that includes me just cutting back on fun, so be it, man. Cause like, I'm, I'm too old to just be treating life like it's, you know, it's all about fun, you know. It, it's important to enjoy yourself, but at the same time, it's things that I need to handle around my house first before I'm out here just doing whatever it is that, you know, it's, it's just a lot of nonsense going on. And 2019, uh, it's, it's a, gonna be a wild year. I can already see it just with everything that's happening, man. Like I said, like, it's, yeah, it's just, I feel like it's like some spiritual stuff that's going on. I don't know if it's spiritual. If people was having like uh, chemical imbalances that's just uh, peaking or what is happening out here, but I'm just trying to just work on myself and and just better myself, man. Cause this is 
everybody going through it. And you know, if you've been working real hard, I feel like you're gonna be actually achieving and uh, getting the, uh, you're gonna be seeing that payoff. You know, like you've been working hard. I've been seeing a lot of people achieve goals that they've been working for, working towards for, for years and years. And they finally now just getting to see, uh, they're not just getting to see like, yeah, man, like all of that hard work, it finally paid off. Like, don't give up. So I'm just keep on, keeping it pushing, keeping it going. You know, um, there's people that don't want me to make videos and stuff, man. I don't care about none of that, man. For real, I'm gonna make my videos. I'm gonna keep on sharing with the world what my experiences, what I'm going through and, you know, you gotta just keep it going, stay positive. Because it's uh this time it's obviously like, you know, time is of the essence more than ever right now, man. I just I'm just I'm just so grateful, I'm so appreciative. I ain't got a choice but to do what I'm doing right now, so doctors told me to stay hydrated, so I'm just drinking my water right now. And trying to stay, drink as much water as I possibly can every day, and yeah, it just feel good. I can't complain about nothing, but uh, yeah, man, I'm about to be make probably drop another video just like this next week and talk about the progress that I make. Uh, so y'all can see, see, swelling's going down. Smile still looks kind of weird though, like. It's a little bit swollen over here. Like I said, this sun on my lip is completely numb. Accidentally just started recording. But this is completely numb over here still. And it's still slightly swollen, but I'm hoping that that goes down soon. So, yeah, it's a. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm about to be dropping more videos real soon. Subscribe, comment, like, share, all of that. Y'all know what's going on.